second problem find the coefficient coefficient of x to the power of n in the power series in the power series expansion of x by x minus 1 whole square x minus 2 specifying specifying the reason the reason in which in which the expansion the expansion is valid the expansion is valid so in order to find out this one this problem this solve problem again we have to follow the two strategies the first strategy so let us find out the partial fractions of this one. After that, after finding the partial fractions, we have to write them in terms of a power series as we have studied earlier. So, first let us find out partial fractions of this one. So, here the solution follows. Consider x by x minus 1 whole square of x minus 2 is equal to a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 1 whole square plus c by x minus 2. Multiply both sides with x minus 1 whole square into x minus 2. So, we get x is equal to a of x minus 1 into x minus 2 plus b of x minus 2 plus c of x minus 1 whole square. So, this can be rewritten as a of x minus 1 of x minus 2 plus b of x minus 2 plus c of x minus 1 whole square equals to x put x is equal to 1 if you put x is equal to 1 this become 0 this become 0 now b of 1 minus 2 equals to 1 this is minus b equals to 1 so b equals to minus 1 now one sub, one more substitution let us do it so, put x is equal to 2. If you put x is equal to 2, so this become 0, this become 0. So, we get c value c of 2 minus 1 whole square equals to 2. This is c equals to 2. Now, equating x square coefficients on both sides equating x square coefficients on both sides here see x into x x square a x square a here x square into c c a plus c a plus c is equal to in right hand side we do not have any x square term. So, that means x square term is absent that means that x square coefficient is 0. So, a plus c is equal to 0. Now, we require a value a equals to minus c since c equal to 2 this will be minus 2 a equals to minus 2. Now, we can write the partial fractions now. 
So x by x minus 1 all square into x minus 2 equals to minus 2 by x minus 1 next plus b, b means here minus 1. So, minus 1 by x minus 1 whole square and c means here 2. So, plus 2 by x minus 2 here this can be written 2 by 1 minus x this can be written minus 1 by 1 minus x whole square that means both x minus 1 whole square and 1 minus x square have the same value no change. So, now here from this x minus 2 let us take minus 2 common 2 by minus 2 are common so 1 minus x by 2. So, now we can write 2 times 1 minus x whole to the power of minus 1 this is 1 minus x whole to the power of minus 2 and next this 2 2 gets cancelled minus of 1 minus x by 2 whole to the power of minus 1. All these 3 series will be valid for mod x is less than 1. So, that means it is valid when mod x is less than 1. So, let us expand these values now. Next, so to find out x to the power of n, let us write this value, this value and this value now. So, this is equal to 2 times 1 minus x whole to the power of minus 1 is 1 plus x plus x square and plus so on dash dash plus x to the power of n dash dash infinity and minus of whereas 1 minus x whole to the power of minus 2 is 1 plus 2x plus 3x square and plus so on plus n plus 1 of x to the power n plus dash dash infinity. Next the minus this we can write 1 plus x by 2 plus x by 2 whole square and so on dash dash plus x by 2 whole to the power of n plus dash dash infinity. So, to find out x to the power of n coefficient, x to the power of n coefficient means we have to pick up x to the power of n coefficient from this expansion, from this expansion and from this expansion simultaneously what is the x to the power of n coefficient that is 1. So, what is the x to the power of n coefficient in second expansion that is n plus 1, but we have minus. So, we get minus of n plus 1, but what is the x, x to the power of n coefficient here? This is x to the power of n by 2 power n. So, quite obvious that it is 1 by 2 to the power of n. This is minus. So, minus of 1 by 2 to the power of n. So, let us write it. So, now x to the power of n coefficient is equal to 2 times 1 2 minus times n plus 1 minus of n plus 1 and minus 1 by 2 to the power of n. So, hence problem has been completed.